Wow. Let's get into SDL. That's adorable. Oh, hell no. Because of the grandiosity of the word love, it's easy to forget what it really means. Are you longing for yourself or a glorified or for a glorified memory of the past? Sure. I still think gonna be a door in the back there. I did say that she's in the album and definitely in the song. It's a very reminiscing song. <laughs> These lyrics are so pretty. The door isn't credited in, in the Spotify listings there. But I'm sure that's definitely her in the back there. And SDL is so, so pretty. And it's a very, like, lighthearted, soft approach of thinking on memories. Because so far, these past songs have been, like trapped in the past like the sense of being trapped in the past and fighting to come out to the present and fighting to look to the future and constantly just you know it over and over in your head this endless cycle of just remembering the past remembering the past which yep that that's me all right <laughs> but this one's like putting it into a new light of looking at things with genuine love and not just like remembering things in like a kind of toxic way. SDL really really liked that one. And now we're getting into People Part 2 featuring IU. Let's go. Oh, 
This really is the breathe a song. <laughs> you can just like relax a little. It's a very chill vibe. Such a nice song. So pretty. Alrighty, now we're getting into Polar Night. Now, the lyrics for Polar Night I did go through Twitter, so I don't know how truly accurate it'll be. Hopefully it'll be as accurate as it could be. But yeah, I'm gonna take the lyrics with a grain of salt, at least just get the gist of what the song is about. So sign on the shorter side, so it won't take too long to get through. So let's get into it. Suman and Jane Shilder was Suman and Cotchet their son, Udin and Chedero, Sangal Barapon and God. Who's the cautious of Thai? Sound on the point at a sign, eh? He took a moo washing car, cake at the test and a catch on a sassoon of Gien on a donchet of Yon Shiraba, Songy and Pant and a toad that and Jongi, held on a test and an upcut of Sonny, packed in the grass from a go net, Pani and Mian to get put in and get taken with Tongi, Chawa, ooh, hook up back to Yotch and Yon Kukute, Kwanke, Horror Moor, a third of Mian, so paid a bone. it is so dirty. It is so dirty. She come on, she moon del gua. Mutabia been on their side. Would in a more sir. We are so sound and gut. It is so dirty. It is so dirty. Mm. 
This song is not what I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, so right to the side of the Twitter post is actually the one that did the translations and said, the lyrics of Polonite are so difficult, so these are super rough translations. So as I said, yes, I will take these with a grain of salt just to get the gist. And it sounds like it's a very, like, song that's heavy on criticism, but towards people that have criticized him and, I guess, BTS as a whole. Yeah, talking about, like, hypocrisy in society and how... You know, we live in a world now where you really can't do anything, no matter how innocent it is, without it still being scrutinized because somebody will either enforce a critical thinking onto it when it doesn't need to be criticized, or people are just so determined to see you as the bad guy, so to speak, that. Everything you do can just always be seen wrong, even though it may not be that case at all. This, I know that, you know, this song's lyrics is most complex because, you know, finding the translations for it was a little on the difficult side. So I will definitely have to keep an eye out for like updated translations for that one to get a better understanding of exactly what it's saying. But for now, I just wanted like a general gist of what it's about and I never think it got that like a uh, criticizing those who criticize him and criticizing hypocrisy and that kind of thing. <laughs> 